So Federal Hill landmark seriously damaged. This is what police discovered early this morning at the fountain at De Pasquale Square. Slabs of the fountain broken after a car drove straight into it. We first told you about this at noon. At noon tonight, police are hoping something the driver left behind can help catch whoever did it. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with the new details. Steve. Well, Mike, Federal Hill officials are saying tonight this could have been a lot worse, but the repairs to the fountain shouldn't be too bad because of the crash. Police say the search is still on for the driver. It's still Federal Hill. The music plays, the lights ready to twinkle, but the fountain is surrounded in orange cones. The beautiful granite around the basin ripped from the foundation. This poor fountain has been through a lot in the last years. A Providence police report confirms a driver at 1.30 a.m. hopped the curb, smacked a cement flower pot five feet, and then crashed into the De Pasquale Square fountain. Authorities say three people in the car left on foot, but the driver sped away, leaving behind his bumper with his license plate attached. The owner of Venda says his surveillance cameras captured the crash and he gave it to police. Rick Simone with the Federal Hill Commerce Association says the damage isn't as bad as he thought. So this work obviously is something we need to get done now. So we're working with the city engineers to get that going. The fountain's been in the headlines for the last year when in early 2018 the basin was covered in plants because the fountain was broken. In June, the city approved $210,000 to repair the fountain. Eamon Corrala says the fountain is iconic. We come here, I take pictures with this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, to be destroyed like that, that's very bad. It always draws a crowd. I mean, everything from proposals to Mother's Day family pictures, baptisms, everything's done outside of here. It's a really big destination within a destination in Providence. Now people take pictures of damage, not joy. And so far, no arrests have been made, but the police report indicates authorities know who the driver is. Simone says the fountain will only be partially functional this year, but that's not because of the crash. He said a recent inspection revealed the fountain needs a complete restoration, and he believes the price tag could be close to half a million dollars. If funds are approved, work would begin after Columbus Day. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.